That's low. That's low. Uh, that's low. Uh, that's low. Uh, the average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Outside of school, I do a lot with the arts as well, so I take voice lessons every week as well as acting classes. I see a trophy held by me. I'm involved in a lot of music things. I'm in the chorus in school as well as the drama department, and we just finished our musical. I love what I see. I'm in the jazz band at Grafton, which is new for me, which I'm really enjoying. I play the saxophone. When I'm having a bad day, I can just go play piano and I feel so much better. Band is so fun, too. I love it. Mr. Kirsch is great. In marching band, I play mellophone for that, which is also very fun. Last year, I performed a funny thing that happened on the way to the forum. And it was a big crowd and my character, old guy, got the most laughs in the crowd. And I don't know, I really like that. And having a family with the drama kids and everything. I'm in Key Club, and I'm captain of the JV soccer team. Got one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I like to Adam. fish regularly. I like to actually create my own fishing lures. I like to paint them and whatnot and carve them and sand them. The experience is much more rewarding when you catch a fish on something you made rather than just going to the store and buying something for $3. Just personally, I just love the feeling of that accomplishment, like spending hours on something, putting a lot of thought and effort into it, and then it providing you with hours of fun when you're fishing. He you hit it. Come on back. Got him. He's not big, but he's a bass. Well, let him go. My fondest memory would be recent, and it was when we went to Germany last year, because it was just great to be with so much of my family that I don't see a lot because they're so far away. A lot of sightseeing, they love to take pictures of everywhere we go. My dad always has to take a picture of every little thing. I remember um, a lot of times Every Friday night, we'd have like a game night and we'd all just hang out and we'd play games, um, just board games, puzzles, all of these different games. That was one of my favorite memories of all of us being together and just bonding. My fondest memory of my family is definitely skiing in the mountains of Japan. You could probably go skiing for a day for 20 yen, which is probably about 25 US dollars. And here it costs so much more and you have full mountain access too, so okay. it's, all, it's all day, so that's why it's much better. My fondest memory is actually my first memory that I can really ever think of. I'm in my diapers, and uh, we had a plastic basketball court inside of our, my, our living room, and I remember shooting a basket, you know, like, I'm like two feet high, and I shoot a basket and I make it, and I run up and I high five my mom, I high five my dad, and I'm really happy and stuff. So yeah, some of my fondest ones. Nine one one, where's your emergency? It's at Grafton High School. Four zero three Grafton Drive. Okay, four zero three Grafton Drive. Yes. What's happening there? There is just a really bad accident that just happened. How many vehicles are involved? Um, there's two of them, and 
one person in the one car, they can't get out. They're stuck in it, and I don't think that the other person is breathing, but everybody's screaming. Okay, are there any other injuries that you can see? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's screaming. Is anyone there? I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Josie. Engine 1, Medic 1, Rescue 1, EMS 2, Battalion 1, responding to Grafton High School. Have they checked on you okay? No, I'm fine. Are you driving there? I was. All right, come over here and talk to me real quick, okay? We have one trap for unstable things. Angel on a command, we have one unstable, one stable, ALS, one code drive. He's coming home from a party. Okay. Take my friend home. All right. Yeah, go uh, we're gonna have to get her out this side anyway, I think. Respond, life back three to this accident. You were texting? Who were you texting? Check that number, check with Verizon and see if they have uh, texting records. How much have you had to drink tonight? I had two beers. Two beers? That was at your friend's house? It's okay, we won't let you fall. We got you. Don't move your head, just your eyes. Command, you are one. Keep your eyes on the pen, okay? Don't move your head, just your eyes. Did you lose consciousness? Do you remember? Stand exactly as I'm standing, right foot in front of your left, and do not move, okay, until I tell you to do so. One, two, three, four, five. Understood. Don't focus on them, just focus on me right now, okay? Six inches off the ground, keep your foot parallel to the ground and count 1001, 1002. 1,003. I don't want. 1,002. 3. All right, go ahead and stop. I don't want you to fall over. I don't want you to hurt yourself, OK? You're going to take your left index finger and touch the tip of your nose. Bring it right back out. Don't wait for me to tell you to bring it out. Left. Right. Your breath alcohol content. I have a feeling I already know what it is at. I just want to confirm that. Are you willing to take that test for me? Okay, how old are you? 16. You're 16? Okay. Do you feel like that you might have had too much to drink tonight? I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Okay. He's bringing that for me right now, okay? They're taking care of your friends, okay? They're taking care of them. Take a deep breath. Blow in there for me. Blow, 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 stop. Okay, you're at an 07. Now you are over the legal limit. You just turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Look at what you did. These are your friends, right? Come on, you're on, Go ahead, Light back. All right. 
Watch your arm. Moving anything, people's have been fixed. At five. Alright, ready three? Count. One, two, three. Right. 30 of the front of me and 120 of the socks. So we're going to get the second IV here. 22 of the teeth. Yeah, let's call life that. He really has no motion, he has no pupillary response. Carol, can you call life that? Please? Event at all. Do you have any idea if family is around or if any of the family is here yet? No, response no at all. pupillary response, no breathing over the vent. Let's see if we can put up some more vent if we could also. But right now, his brain is not doing the things that we would expect it to be doing right now in terms of just keeping his body alive. Uh, yeah. What's wrong? We'll speak to you. Okay. Mrs. Hoyce, uh, regret to inform you that your daughter Julia was involved in a car accident in front of Grafton. No. No. She is deceased. No. No. Sorry. No. No. No, that can't be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My phone. I need my phone. Oh. oh my gosh, I need to call my husband <laughs> and my son, my son, Where is your son? he's at school, he's in college. My fondest memory, Julia was born with a bit of an issue in her lung and so she had to go to the NICU right after being born and I didn't get to see her for about 14 hours. And as soon as I got to the NICU, a nurse approached me and said, are you mom? I said, yes. And she said, this girl is gonna do great things. She is a fighter and she has just, since day one, been filled with joy and just such happiness all the time, just embraces everything she does. And from the time she could almost sit up, we would go shopping, I'd put her in the shopping cart, she would want to say hello to everyone. She drove her big brother crazy because she was just talking to everyone. And it just continues that she just is, has such a sweet, bright, wonderful, joyful demeanor at all times and truly a blessing. versus Yahtzee on the docket. And I know this matter had been set for trial today. Do I understand correctly that there's going to be a plea or please? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> That's correct, Judge. And if you will raise your right hand, please, I'll have some questions for you. Do you swear or affirm that the information you provide or testimony you give will be the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. You may put your hand up. Having accepted your pleas of guilt as well as your stipulations, Mr. Yahtzee, I will at this time find you guilty of each of two indictments for a vehicular homicide as well as one indictment of vehicular maiming. And at this time, we'll proceed into sentencing. And is the Commonwealth prepared for argument? We are, Your Honor. In thinking about this tragedy, a phrase came to mind, Your Honor. 
two beers, two thumbs, two seconds. That's all it took to destroy the future hopes and dreams of the four families assembled here today. The facts of this case are as tragic as any that I have seen in over 30 years of practice. Two happy, healthy teenagers snatched from their families on the very threshold of their adult lives. Julia Hoyas and Tony Figueroa. We will never know the accomplishments and accolades that the Julia and Tony would have accomplished. We're left with the heartache of knowing that they, had they lived, they would have made a difference. But all that remains of the bright promise that shone from both Julia and Tony are treasured memories. What can we say? What can we do? The simple and honest answer is nothing. Nothing we do here today will bring back Julia and Tony. But what we can and what we must attempt to do is do justice under the law. In sum, I ask that the defendant be sentenced and be committed to the custody of the Virginia Department of Corrections to so serve a total of 12 years and six months of active incarceration within the prisons of the Commonwealth. That's crazy. 12 years, that's it? That's it? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Mr. Roberts. Please, the court. Uh, as you know, I was appointed to represent Mr. Yahtzee. I would that this burden had never settled on these families, but since it has devolved on us to be here, I ask only that you help lift it from our shoulders, and that it, in so doing, you temper the justice which Mr. Hahn has demanded with the mercy of the facts of this case. As Mr. Hahn has pointed out, he has no prior criminal history. In fact, no history of any disciplinary action at school. It is my prayer today then, Judge, that you do not compound the tragedy of the loss of Julia and Tony and the injury to Jesse. Do not deprive this community of young people and adults of the lessons and talents and message that this young man can bring to all of us. And that lesson is, do not do what I did. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Yossi, the court is tasked with a difficult decision. It's got to balance punishment with rehabilitation. I've got to temper mercy with justice. And it is with that in mind that the court deems it appropriate to sentence you to a total term of incarceration of five years which, while it might sound like a long time, pales into comparison to the damage that was done in this matter. You're now a thrice convicted felon. So you can take all the good that you've done on your, in your life and a path that you had made a lot easier in a lot of respects, and now you've made it much, much harder. It will be very difficult to get into any schools once you're released from incarceration. So your college career will be made that much more difficult if one's to even exist. Getting a job will become a very difficult endeavor, even the simplest of tasks. Everything will be made much more difficult, and everything will be a constant reminder of the horrendous decision making you made one night. All right, good luck to you, young man. I plan on being a marine biologist. That's what I'm shooting for right now. I want to have a job that I will like doing. I want to be able to start a family. I want to be able to support them. I'll be going down to Texas and Northwest Vista. I'll be studying in Newby Communications. For a long time, my dream was to be on Broadway and be on stage, just doing what I love. I love doing music and dancing and stuff like that. But I really have been thinking about it, and I really want to work in music ministry. Right now, my goal is to be successful at University of Virginia, which is where I'll be attending in the fall, and I plan to pursue a dual degree between foreign affairs and music, which is kind of an odd pair, but music singing has always been my uh, main passion, so I'd say pursuing an opera career is definitely my first and foremost goal. 
My goals in life are to be somewhat successful in the entertainment business. I don't want to eventually own a radio show maybe or, you know, a talk show, something like that. Two beers, two thumbs, two seconds. I just think this program is really cool and I'm really glad that I get to help spread this message to people, all the young teenagers that are going to be seeing this and to help them be safe when driving and I think that I really hope that we touch people's lives doing this. Distracting driving is a danger and I just don't want to lose any more friends to anything at all. I want it to be imprinted in my mind and the people around me once they see me up there that you should definitely not ever drive distracted. Like I want it to be something that people won't ever forget because then they won't make that choice and I won't have to deal with losing friends or other people won't have to deal with it. Two beers, two thumbs, two seconds.